Hey guys, it's Hanya here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. To celebrate this wonderful season, I teamed up with my YouTuber friends in a Christmas collaboration. Be sure to check out all of these Christmas inspired videos. Links are posted down below. Or you can also click on individual images and it will take you to a tutorial. And I'm gonna show you how to make this Christmas cake roll. I received quite a few requests for a Christmas inspired cake roll. And so I made Christmas tree candy cane cake roll. Let's get started. To make the pattern batter, you're gonna need room temperature butter, all purpose flour, powdered sugar, egg whites, and also some vanilla extract. Beat the room temperature butter until creamy, then add powdered sugar. Now you can add egg whites. Now we can add flour. If the batter appears too thick, you can also add some water or freshly squeezed lemon juice. Color the batter with leaf green food coloring. I'm going to use these disposable piping bags. You can find these online, link is posted down below. This is the baking sheet that I'll be using, but because I can't fit it in my freezer, I'm going to use a cutting board for support for my pattern. I printed the tree pattern and I'm going to pipe the trees on a parchment paper. If you have a hard time piping these, just do a triangle. Don't worry about all those short lines, just do a full triangle and it will look really, really pretty as well. Now I'm going to move my template, align it and then continue piping. You have to freeze this for about 20 minutes. To make the cake batter, you're gonna need eggs, granulated sugar, all-purpose flour, melted and cooled butter, a little bit of uh, salt, and also for extra flavor, I'm going to add some vanilla extract. Start by separating the egg whites and egg yolks. Beat the egg whites with a little bit of salt on high until foamy and then gradually add about half of the sugar. Beat the egg whites until you have stiff peaks formed. Now I'm going to beat egg yolks with the remaining sugar until pale in color and doubled in volume. Into the butter I'm adding vanilla extract. Now gradually add butter into the egg yolk mixture. Now we're going to alternate 
folding the flour and meringue into the egg yolk mixture. Now spray your baking pan with some non-stick spray. Take your parchment paper with the tree pattern out of the freezer and now we can spread the cake batter on the top. Once baked, take a small spatula or a knife and run it around the edges to loosen them up and then invert the whole thing onto a parchment paper or wax paper dusted with some powdered sugar. Now I'm going to flip it again just so we have the pattern on the bottom so when you roll it up it's gonna show on the top of the cake. While still hot, you're going to roll this into a log and then you have to let it cool completely. I also like to wrap it in a clean kitchen towel. While that's cooling, we can prepare the frosting. I made my cream cheese frosting and I'm adding some crushed peppermint candies. You can also add some peppermint flavor. I'm using peppermint oil. Be sure to add only a few drops because it's very, very strong. And now it's the nerve-wracking time of the cake roll making. Unrolling the cake roll, is it gonna tear or not? What do you think, guys? I ended up having a little crack there which wasn't too bad at the time, but then it kept getting bigger and bigger. So I ended up having a pretty big cut there, but um, I try not to worry about these things. So what I did, I sealed it with the icing. That was the first thing I did, just so it wouldn't spread further. And then uh, you can spread the icing on the whole cake. You know, my grandmother used to say, who doesn't do anything, doesn't break anything. So I rather break things than not try them so even if you don't succeed at first try at least you tried it so give yourself some credit and if your cake roll tears don't worry about it really just uh, use some frosting just seal it up a little bit and it will be perfectly fine fix the crack a little bit I'm going to push the icing away from the edges and then using my fingers press the edges together so the tear is not as visible wrap the cake roll in a clear plastic wrap and refrigerate to decorate the cake roll I'm using cream cheese frosting that I colored with some green and yellow food coloring I'm going to use small round piping tip and also a large open star piping tip. So here I have my piping bags ready and we're gonna start with the stars. So you're gonna pipe a star at the top of the tree. So here I made a mistake, I piped it on the bottom. I'm also going to use mini M&Ms for the lights. So now using green cream cheese frosting, make the garland and then add the M&Ms. Continue making garlands on all of the trees. You can make this cake roll ahead of time and store it in a refrigerator for up to three, four days. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And be sure to check out the rest of the Christmas collaboration. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.